I think it's probably fair to say that funds that were launched with a vintage of 2012-2013, and particularly in the UK, had a different uh, return target to where funds launched with vintage this year, last year, uh, are currently pitched. And if you look at the, the numbers, you would notice that in 2012-13, funds were typically looking for senior debt somewhere between 8 and 10 percent, and for mezzanine debt, probably coming out around about the 11 to 13 percent range. Now, if you look at where the market is today, then senior debt is typically somewhere between 3 percent on the prime stock, and on the less prime stock, you're probably getting 4 to 6 percent. So funds that were launched with an 8 to 10 have to be looking at how they adjust their target returns to meet that. It's a very much more acute problem for, for mezzanine funds. Those which were looking for 11 to 13 percent returns are typically today a 7 to 8 percent gain. And I think that's a very big challenge. So it's important for the investors who go into those funds to recognise that over a period of time, the market will displace those returns to potentially quite a significant degree as we've seen so far. I think what's quite interesting is that the trend we have seen does not necessarily hold for the future. And it's important to recognise even if you have fully deployed all your capital, which may be to the satisfaction of your investors, it is likely that funds that have deployed capital with high returns could find themselves significantly refinanced out maybe 30, 40, 50 percent of the maturity period early. And that is a challenge because then a lot of the closed end funds have very limited recycling periods. I think undoubtedly the timing is crucial. Um, so if you're early in the cycle and you're getting your target return consistent with that portion of the timing of the cycle, you can probably deploy most of your capital relatively smoothly. But if your deployment period runs over a shift in cycle returns, that becomes extremely difficult to manage. And I think a lot of the debt funds are finding that they have to go back to their investors and explain what's happening. That doesn't mean to say they've been bad at what they've done, but it does mean to say that the communication between the investors and the managers needs to be very much more open and transparent than you might have had if you were in a straightforward real estate fund. By comparison, real estate funds, they buy the assets, they manage them, they decide when they want to sell them relative to their final maturity dates. With a debt fund, you raise your capital, you lend your capital, and then even if you have maturities of five or six years, repayments will happen early, and that's a fact of life.